Man rescues dog from ice, realizes he made a huge mistake. Stephen looks at the shivering pup wrapped up in the blanket, and his heart aches with worry. He can feel the icy air hit his cheeks while he attempts to warm the dog up. This poor dog had been through a lot. First getting stranded on a frozen lake, then getting trapped underwater. Stephen knew he had to help nurse this dog back to health. But there was just one problem. That was no dog wrapped up in Stephen's blanket. Stephen Smith had lived in Alaska his entire life, so he was used to the harsh and unpredictable weather. In fact, he didn't mind it. The snowy terrains and shivering temperatures were the perfect accompaniments to a cozy night in. But Stephen had no idea what was coming to him when he set off one day to go fishing on a frozen lake. Nothing could have prepared him for what he would find. With it being summer in Alaska, on a warm Sunday afternoon, Stephen decided to go a couple of miles south of his town to go fish in the nearby lake. You see, the ice that covered the lake was thin enough to fish. But this budding fisherman had no idea what he was about to uncover. Ever since he was 10 years old Stephen had loved to fish. His grandfather, a highly renowned fisherman, first taught him, and since then he became hooked on the hobby. Armed with all of his grandfather's knowledge, Stephen spent long afternoons out on the lake. It was the perfect place for him to gather his thoughts. But little did Stephen know his next trip to the lake would be a lot different. Unfortunately, Stephen's grandfather wasn't here anymore, but that didn't stop Stephen from carrying on his fishing legacy. But despite all that his grandfather taught him, Stephen wasn't at all prepared for what he would find waiting for him on the frozen lake, one Sunday afternoon. Stephen arrived at the lake and inhaled the fresh air. His eyes scanned across the frozen lake and flashbacks of his grandfather came folding back. He sure did miss him. He wandered on the frozen lake, but little did he know he was soon about to regret this decision. Stephen slowly sets his feet on the lake and starts to set up. Just as he opened his backpack, he saw something in the corner of the eye. He turned around and what he saw before him stopped him cold. It was a dog and it was standing on the lake, about half a mile from Stephen. What was this dog doing here? Stephen looked around but couldn't seem to find an owner. Then suddenly, without a second to waste, the ice covering the lake cracked and the dog fell under. Stephen saw the dog go under and his heart stopped. As carefully and quickly as he could he raced over to the hole in the lake. He could feel the icy air pierce his cheeks as he got closer to the hole. With every step he lunged forward, Stephen prayed he wasn't too late. Stephen reached into the hole, and with all his strength he picked up the dog from the icy cold waters. He flung the dog on his back and headed back to shore. Stephen then quickly wrapped the shivering pup up in a blanket. But as he looked at the dog in the blanket, a terrible feeling hit the pit of his stomach. Stephen noticed that the dog was large and covered in thick, bushy fur. Its eyes were yellow, and straight away Stephen had a strange feeling creeping up his spine. Stephen knew that he didn't have to time sit and admire this pup's coat. Time was running out. Stephen carried the wrapped up dog back to his home and laid the freezing pup inside his car. He rang his local animal center and they told him to come straight away. Stephen quickly hopped into the driver's seat and raced over the center. He looked in the back seat and saw the shivering pup. This poor dog had been through a lot. But there was just one problem. That was no dog in the back seat of Stephen's car. When Stephen arrived at the animal center, immediately veterinarians whisked off the dog in an effort to restore its health. But when three veterinarians with decades of experience looked at the dog, they realized it was not a dog. In fact, they didn't know what it was. With the veterinarians feeling both confused and eager to find out the truth, they knew they had to bring in an expert. Somebody who could hopefully fill in the blanks in this mind-boggling story. This expert was Mike Jones, and as soon as he saw the dog he knew exactly what they were dealing with. But nobody ever could have expected the answer. This animal was in fact a wolf. It seemed the ice-cold waters had somewhat sedated the wolf, which is why it was so lifeless and not guarded when Stephen rescued it. But when the veterinarians realized that the animal they had just taken in was a wolf and not a dog, they had a terrible feeling hit the pits of their stomachs. Especially when they realized they had forgotten to lock its door. 
Quickly, the team ran over to the wolf's room, but to their relief, it was fast asleep. The team knew they couldn't just kick the animal out, but at the same time, the center was no place for a wild animal. How long would it take for his wolf to grow into its natural and killer instincts? The team quickly and safely nursed the wolf back to health. Once the wolf was in a tip-top state, they released the wolf back into the wild. It was a risk, but the team knew it was for the best. They even had a handy device that would allow the vets to track the wolf and ensure he was safe, a GPS collar. But when it came to releasing the wolf, how would it react? When the vet team, Stephen included, set the wolf free they watched it sprint off into the hills and mountains, without a care in the world. Stephen watched the wolf, and he could feel a lump in his throat. He was happy the little guy was back safe and sound. Not so bad for a day of fishing, right?